Yo, what is up, bros? This is Albrobanani back with World Conqueror 4 and another full playthrough. This time around, we're throwing down some Mongolia 1939. For some reason, I've been getting asked a lot lately to play this, so here we are. I think I'm gonna go for Chang Chung first. Wang Chung. Get my dance party on. Good guy still on hooking us up with Koniv. Probably just be throwing down Koniv and Lieb. That should be enough to handle the Japanese. Save all my tank generals for Europa. I have a plan. The plan is. I am going to throw down a higher tier infantry unit. Gonna throw down Runestead on it, and I'm gonna send him to Europe. Uh, and his goal is to steal. Wait for something to come open, steal it, and then we'll start throwing down tanks. Probably, you know, maybe give him some backup, maybe not. Day number six. All right, Libby. Libby has joined us. You may have no idea why. It's because to be a a field marshal in the German army, uh, the fear like to spoon. So I don't know. Lieb wasn't Lieb wasn't for all that spooning. Bicycle army gets crushed. Day eight. Okay, I'm wondering, since I am just right there, already taking it to the Japanese, will the U.S. still get wrecked by them? Will the whole western coast of the U.S. still get taken? These are the questions I need answered. Monty is on the move! Prepare thy anus, Germany. Monty is going to have his way with your neither regions. Come on, Monty. Show him what's going on. Show him what's up. Day 11. Sweet. They've been... Oh, Monty! See, I told you. You see how there was no Germans around? They heard money was landing and took off. And who could blame them? Alright, Runestead, you are up, bro. Poland rip. Uh Runestead was not look at look at Monty, he just took Amsterdam. Operation Market Garden, but successful. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Runestead, yeah, he, he wasn't down with being spooned by the fear either. See, it didn't happen right off, it was just like a rule change or something. Every field marshal had to join the fear in the wolf's lair. And, uh, they had, they, they, they started mutinying. I thought about sending somebody to help, but, um, damn, money got wrecked. We're just going to have to count on Runestead to get it done. I mean, I have faith in Runestead. Usually I send a 
a decent amount of backup, but this time around, I'm just gonna put all my faith in Runestead. It could end up making this last a hundred rounds, but he's got my my utmost faith. Damn, that was a nice little pickup. Help out the old economy. I mean, I'll take Kiev if you're just gonna leave it open. That'd be a nice spot to start, too. I would for show sure take Kiev. And there it is! I told you, bros! Operation Sea Lion going strong. I told you, bros, you could count on. Runestead to get it done. I was... I don't want to waste money because I want to build max tier tanks, but... Round number 20. Alright, how much... Alright, we can build one. Cool. First up, good guy Stalin sends us Rokoskovsky. I would anticipate more German generals joining. The floodgate has been opened. The uh, Field Marshal Me Too movement. I wonder if they can handle the north. If I handle the south, can they handle the north? There's a little bit of spam down here, isn't there? Day 23. Konev, you're almost dead, bro. What happened? Alright, well... Runestead almost died. Meinstein. Another fed up field marshal. I would think the Russians could handle the north if I stopped everything from the south coming up. Damn, there's a decent amount of spam down here. I don't know if the T-34s are going to be able to do it. Yeah, that little bit of spam is going to suck with just crappy tanks. But then if I didn't have any generals, I'd be spamming artillery, so... I guess it's a little bit faster than that. Try to save Koniv. We don't want to lose him like we did Runestead. I take the blame for Runestead's death. I I shouldn't have sent him towards Warsaw. It was a it was a death sentence. I don't know how to make it up to his family. Well, I mean, the US Navy arrived on the Japanese coast but forgot to protect their own coast. Yeah, I think, yeah, the Russians have the north. That means I can just focus on the Balkans area. Norway, rip.
Damn, Rokoskovsky and Mansion is already at half health. You're Darian! Another fed up field marshal. Day 28. We might end up losing quite a few generals. I was gonna try to keep them all alive, but that ended pretty early when Runestead went down. to keep an eye on the Soviet movement so I can steal all the cities they open up. Damn. God, the U.S. sucks. How do you suck so bad? I, I took most of the heat and you still get wrecked. Such crap. Day 30. The Japanese campaign is dragging on. No help from my allies. At least here I got the Russians. Lin B still setting where he always sets. Lin B's Perk is level 7 setting. Well, what that's what does that do for you? Ah, uh, you just set. The enemy, the enemy would never expect you to be so stupid as to just set there. So it actually works. I have no good airfield. We're getting closer to finally thinning out this spam. We gotta get to the source. At first I thought it was the Balkans, but I didn't really look close enough. It's more the Italians. Yeah, you set there, bro. You totally confused the enemy. Level 7 setting. Probably the most OP perk. Dan Rokoskowski is now down to a quarter health. As is Mainstein. Yeah, the spam is done. Let the path into the Balkans and Italy be free of spam. I seriously can't remember the last time I played with Mongolia. It has been so long. Another one of those countries that I haven't played with since like old school World Conqueror 3 days. Thanks, bros. Remember, this all started out with the sacrifice by Runestead. If the war is won, it will be because of him. See, look at the Italians. They are spammy little bastards. I don't know if I've ever remembered a I'm the Italian spam so much. 
Boom! Hungry goes down. Let that be a lesson to the rest of the Axis. Your time is coming. Slowly, but it's coming. We'll see if the T-34s can take out Europe. And now we're getting a little bit more German activity down here too. Damn, the north was easy. Italians? Rokoskovsky is damn near dead. There you go, Monty. We found Monty in a Budapest prison. Released him and he was ready for revenge. Here we go. Boom! A Tokyo Falls. Nice. Uh, Manstein. Poor Manstein. I got you in a bad situation. I got you in a Runestead situation. There you go. Rokoskowski Hill up. Day 38. And the Balkans campaign drags on with an almost dead Manstein. I think Manstein's gonna make it. I thought he was gonna die. He will live. Don't forget the Swiss. Don't forget the Swiss. Don't forget the Swiss. I'm sick of forgetting the Swiss. Alright, so. Let me go ahead and take their last land territory. And leave the ports to the U.S. If they don't have any income, you should be able to beat them. How did I lose all this territory? It's a risky move, sending him down there to handle Athens, but I think he's got it. I think he can get it done without dying. Look at all the British troops just held up. You can come over and help out at any time. Day 40. There you go, US. You have like two ports. I've done all the rest of the heavy lifting. Alright, so now that we thinned out the Italian spam, we're starting to get some Spanish spam. Boom! Bulgaria goes down! Damn, the Soviet army's non-existent right now.
completely non-existent. I'm just going to spam a bunch of artillery to take the uh, northern cities in Copenhagen. Day 42! Mm. Boom! Romania goes down! There you go. I think he's healed enough. He can get back in it. Oh, look, Zhukov is up there handling Finland. I don't want to send Manstein into too much. They put down a tiger. Welcome back, Rokoskowski. Go take on this tiger in Berlin. Day 44. We're going to be into the 50s easy. Look, the, the British are not even trying. They must have been like, okay, even though Mani was captured and is now a Mongolian, we're still going to follow his orders. He wanted us to just sit and do nothing. He, want, he gave us the Lin B orders. Might as well get the African campaign started, right? Boom! Japan goes down! Well done, U.S. I didn't think they had it in them. And still, the British are doing nothing. Let's not forget about them sitting there. Rokoskowski ain't looking too good either. None of my generals have that much health except maybe Montgomery. Because he really ain't done shit. Hold on, you know what I just noticed? Einstein went and died on us. I had not even noticed that. He served his country well. He did not put up with the spooning. And for that, the world thanks him. Day 47. The day in which Copenhagen fell.
I don't want this tiger killing Rokoskovsky. I've already lost too many generals. I can't take another one. Damn, actually, Monty got hammered. I just put him down pretty much. I mean, relative to the other generals. Hmm. This was a rough playthrough. This would take forever to do with no generals. I can only imagine how long it would just to take to get the Japanese down and by that time the Axis would be like all the way almost I'm pretty sure through all the yak herding territory. It would be hell to fight back through Asia and into Europe. You would need some massive artillery spam. Day of 49. Liberation of Paris. Nice. It's weird, Al. You know, sometimes, I've seen it and it happens rarely, but sometimes the Allies will clean up in Africa. But most of the time, this is pretty much what you're left with. Day 50. The Mongolian War drags on. It seems to be like indefinitely. Generals have been lost. Most generals are close to death. But yet the Mongolians fight on. Like good little Genghis Khans. Day 51. All right, so, um, I, I forgot to take that, didn't I? I think I did. I think I'd opened that and forgot to take it. That city was pretty strong for a no-name city. Day 32. Got it, finally. Roma Falls. I had forgot all about reaching level seven. We got 65 missiles. That might be enough to finish this. Yeah, I kind of got into the grind. I kind of, I just forgot. Be looking for level 7. The grind got me.
Hey, I mean, just like that. Europe got cleared. I think we are going to be able to at least take all the land territory. We were just setting on that technology. Or maybe... I don't know. The Mongolians just now figured out how to operate the V2s. We just had enough, didn't we? Boom! Germany goes down, but I'm out of money, so all those cities I opened up probably get stuff placed back on them. Uh, how was I... Yeah, I was like, how was I hitting that? Boom! Finland goes down, and after Zhukov set up there all that time. He was just about to get the, the reward, the payoff. And I screw him out of it. Day 54. The day which we found the true leaders of the Axis powers. The Swiss underground. Boom. Take that, Swiss. Look at that. Controlling all of Europe. And Africa. Day 55. Okay, so... We got this, we got, um, Somalia. Alright, one more round. Oh, there we go. Boom! Spain goes down. They took the port. Got the yes. 55 rounds. That was that was on the mini brutal side, I think. Anyways, bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace, Bruminati, out.